Every year in the United States, roughly one-fourth of all traffic fatalities and one-half of all traffic accidents occur in or near an intersection. Some of the reasons for that are driver inattentiveness, failure to yield, and aggressive driving. I'm going to show you how to recognize and avoid some of the potential hazards you might face in an intersection so you won't become just another traffic accident statistic. Always stay aware at any intersection for potential hazards. I'm at a red light and stopped in the left turn lane. I noticed a van to the left quickly approaching the intersection in their left turn lane. They weren't stopping or slowing down much and their traffic light turned from green to yellow just before they passed the white stop line and then went to red as they entered the intersection. A left turn arrow came on for me just as they cleared the intersection. There was no harm done, but if they had come through a second or two later, that might have caused a problem. Even if you have a green light or a green left turn arrow, before you move, always check for crossing traffic that may be trying to beat a red light and about to enter the intersection. I go ahead and start my left turn. And as I look ahead, I see a FedEx truck on the right pulling out of the Walgreens parking lot. He probably really doesn't see me coming yet, or he's just in a hurry, so he continues pulling out and slowly crosses my path up ahead. I need to slow down quite a bit in order to give him enough time to get safely across. Even if another driver does something they probably shouldn't do, do everything you can to avoid being involved in an accident. I'm in the dedicated left turn lane, and I'm slowing down as I approach the intersection. The traffic light is red, so I'm going to come to a complete stop at the white line that's painted on the road just before the intersection. Those lines are put in specific spots for safety reasons, and here's a good example. I'm approaching this intersection where there are two left turn lanes, but the stop line for my lane starts much sooner than the one to the right. That's because traffic will be turning left and angling over in front of me, and they'll need plenty of room to make that sweeping turn. That's especially true in this situation where it's a semi-truck and trailer making the turn. If I didn't stop back at the white stop line and chose to pull up further, then as that truck turns, it could come over far enough to hit my vehicle. But if I stop where I'm supposed to, then no problem. Another reason you should always stop at the stop line is because you can't always see what's going to be coming across the front of your vehicle. Your view might be obstructed. As in this situation, if I had pulled past the stop line and into the crosswalk, I might have hit the person on the bicycle because I didn't see him coming from the left. When you're pulling past the white stop line to begin your left turn, Keep going straight ahead until the front of your vehicle reaches about the middle of the intersection and then start turning the steering wheel to the left. By waiting to turn your steering wheel until roughly the center of the intersection, you'll end up making a turn that's more curved and that'll cause you to enter the lane you're turning into more nearly straight on. If I started turning immediately from my stop position and went more in a straight line from A to B, that could send me into the other left lane at a more sideways angle. Doing that could cause the front end of my car to swing over into the right lane next to me as I try to straighten out, or it could cause my rear wheels to cut the corner and cross the dividing line. You want to avoid straying over into other lanes. We've looked at some intersections with a single left turn lane, but here's one that has two of them. With two lanes turning left at the same time, you have to be careful to stay in your designated lane as you turn. To help you, there's usually markings on the pavement that show you the curve of your lane. So in my case, I want to stay to the right of those markings. If there are no lane guides on the road, give the drivers in the other lane as much room as safely possible as you make your turn. Be aware of the location of medians and lane dividers when turning in an intersection. This turn has a lane divider that extends out quite a ways and requires a wide turn to avoid driving over it. Locating the dividers before you start turning can help you avoid damage to your vehicle that could result from running into or over one of them. Sometimes they're pretty big. Make sure you have an unobstructed view of oncoming traffic before making a turn in an intersection. Because of the slope of the road here, I don't have a good view of the traffic that's coming down the road that I want to turn left across. To get a better and safer view after the light turns green, I pulled ahead further so I could see when it would be safe to turn. You may be stopped and the light turns to solid green instead of a left turn arrow, in which case the golden rule of left turns applies. Left turn yield on green, even if there isn't a sign posted saying that. As soon as the oncoming traffic is passed, I can go ahead and safely make my left turn. The truck across from me has a red light and is going to legally turn right on red. At the same time though, I now have a green left turn arrow, so I can also turn in the same direction he'll be turning. To avoid the chance of an accident because of a misunderstanding between the two of us about who has the right of way when turning onto the same road, and because I don't know what he's going to do immediately after he makes his turn, I'm going to proceed slowly and let him enter the road first, and then I will enter the road slightly after them. 
Again, always do whatever you can to avoid a potential hazard whether you're entering or leaving an intersection. Many accidents happen in intersections because people rush through yellow lights or continue through intersections after the light turns red. Unless the light turns yellow just as you're getting to the stop line, it's safer for everyone if you simply stop and wait for the next green light. You never know where you'll see pedestrians, so be on the lookout for them at all times. Many unfortunate injuries and deaths have happened because drivers failed to yield to pedestrians. Sometimes it's hard to predict what pedestrians or bicyclists are going to do, but always look for them near crosswalks and intersecting streets. At a four-way stop controlled by stop signs or flashing red lights, the main rule is first goes first. If you're the first car to arrive and stop at the intersection, you get to proceed first. All other vehicles that arrived after you did should yield to you and allow you to go before they do. If you get to the intersection at the same time as another driver, the rule is yield right away. This means that the vehicle on the right has the right to proceed first. If two cars are directly opposite from each other and arrive at the same time, they can technically both go at the same time since their line of travel won't interfere with each other. But if you have the right of way and someone goes before you, just let it go. That happens. They may have thought it was their turn or were just in a hurry, but don't let it upset you and cause you to drive aggressively or distracted. Because there's no traffic close to me right now, I'm going to do something and then tell you not to do it. What did I do? I changed lanes while in an intersection. While not necessarily illegal, it can still be hazardous. Where I normally see this as a potential problem is in a situation like this. There's a car waiting to turn right at the stoplight up ahead. The right lane is clear for him to turn into, but if I decided to move into that lane as I'm approaching the intersection and he doesn't check to his left again before turning, there's potential for a collision. There are also other situations where this could affect other drivers. So try your best to make lane changes before or after an intersection. I hope this video was useful. Thanks for watching and please stay alert and drive safe anytime you're going through an intersection. Bye.